Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today and... Hey guys, come see this! What? I just had an amazing idea for a game! <sighs> just wait! Sorry, Eugenie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV Rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the where they Don't eat change channels! Their food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey! How about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm gonna need your help. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. Eugenie, you're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, wanna play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on huh? parts. Everybody in position and action! Mm -hmm. Vic, out of the way! You're hogging the mm -hmm. shot! So what? <laughs> Cut! That's great! Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can! Do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy, is it? <laughs> wow! Eugenie, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not gonna take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? Uh, hear that, honey? Uh. <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey! He's still a wild animal! No, look! He's totally harmless! You see? How about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. <laughs> so, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm going to take it off, too. Ah, no, don't! 
Why not? <laughs> I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I should redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! Washington! I've looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Woof, woof, woof! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're gonna make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying disc to get buddy-buddy. Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and- okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. Ah! Shoot! What was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> ah, there it is! Catch! <laughs> Woe is me! Vic? You okay, Vic? Vic, talk to me, Vic! <sighs> Who do you think you are, Acorn Brain? Don't try to get chummy with me! But I thought that... I was acting, you pea brain! Pure cinema! But if that's the way it is, do it yourself! Yeah. Where's the little fox? Little fox? Little fox! <laughs> oh, there you are. You'll be famous. It's gonna be amazing. A documentary about wild boars. All you have to do is pretend to... Yeah? Our little fox's first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Hello, animal pal? <laughs> Sam, why did you do that? I wanted to get taken in and tamed like you. I want to be able to live the real me, too! You'll have all the time in the world to do that at the pound. They just arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> 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 You can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh, no! Our poor little fox! And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash! Washington! Wash! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. 
You have the suits? Huh? Come on, start now, will you? Whoa! You see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound! Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pest. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it! No! no! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two, three! Yeah! 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 come on! Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah! Sam, get out of here! Yeah, looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! Yeah. 
Honey? Mm -hmm. oh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal. <gasps> And your zipper is metal, like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine. <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm -hmm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've gotta watch TV. We have to stop him digging. <laughs> Yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up. You. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know, we'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us? And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No, we head down the chimney. Ah, great idea. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cat! If only our zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro? Okay, right. Don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam. Water. What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny! 
shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Bush? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. uh, what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. ah. Uh -huh. ah. ah. that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> huh? This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Ah, yeah. There they are! My pretty little treasure thieves! Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and... A cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> now, nobody will find our treasure. Darling, huh? you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Huh? It's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure. I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. 
super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for, uh, there. Furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about tattoos. Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! Meow! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly Be what had. we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. You have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in your wow. store. Oh, wow. Did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Whoa, yeah, you guys are awesome! Whoa, you guys are heavyweights! Oh, yeah, you look amazing with those! <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah, more like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're gonna go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria! If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on, you've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck, and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? <laughs> And now, this month's Top 10 Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got... Hey there, guys! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> We absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. Hey! Stop everything now! Tattoos, they're for life! Yeah. In full teenage rebellion, John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life. Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pound. <laughs> 
perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. <laughs> Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? Hmm. Ah! I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, what is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. Yeah. 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 That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle is flown away. No doubt about it. These are the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now, too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. Thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam, but you better thank the alien. Thanks, Thanks you, you too, too alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website, and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper! Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never go anywhere without Kitty Munch 
kibble. How about you? Oh, he's so handsome. Fooey, he's just a cat who plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch Kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch Kibble, Sam? Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow! Meow! You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch Kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibble Bake, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24 7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm gonna help you. We're gonna turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat, okay? <sighs> what are you doing here? We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a phone. Kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. Ah. Whoa, you see her? She's a knockout. No, no, no. Too wishy-washy. Next! Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. Wow, amazing. She stays for sure. Next. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I'll go take a look through there! But the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble! <laughs> I love the fat funny cat! He's our guy! Take five, everybody! Then we roll! Who's the funny cat that won? Where is he? It's you, Sam! You won! Me? But I'm not fat! But I know I sure am funny! <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bump 
bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done! Great job! So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, Eugenie! Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security! We just lost our new kibble star! Can you do something? Okay! We'll, we'll take, take care of it! I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade! Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! A uh, boar? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! What's going down? It's coming from there! There! A boar with a doll! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me! Yeah? Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me, we'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mum's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that the fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, you're coming along with us. Hey, wasn't that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, 
Times better than that Zealist celebrity. Uh, I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat, too. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen him or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and olive stock! Yeah. Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I 
didn't know what I saw. Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's okay, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys near the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa! But this is incredible! Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> <gasps> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home. Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that our let was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate. Here's a treat for all of you. Not you, Tom. You could choke or have an allergic reaction. Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> this won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. All mine. Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. Hey, Sam! Come and join us! It's so comfy! No, don't <laughs> no deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's me! Right, I'm Sam. Look at my droopy Sam walk. Oh, I know. You cut your whiskers. <laughs> Phew. Yeah. Come on, you've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way there's no risk of you choking. Ew. Well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. Oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop <sighs> that. Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar. If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat. Oh no, Tom took Sam's place. Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did that. We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him? Yes. We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Yeah! 
Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah. D -d 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 don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... You don't want to know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. <sighs> right here. I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. <sighs> <sighs> You found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! Mm. I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... Ah, a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Where? Yeah. Help! Leave my master alone! Oh my Tom, Tom, you saved me from that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together! We're back together! <laughs> Thank you, Tom Tom! Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam! No! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hello, fave toy, we're rockin'. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run! Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup! Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys, ready? Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. Give me that right now, you stuffing warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy Sammy Kibble! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. 
Can you just look at that? How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Hmm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat, that, and that. That's not cat, and that. Meow! That's not cat, I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boar. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Hmm? What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. King kibble. You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them to yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First, it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously cool. Thanks, Victoria. Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move. I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course. That's it. Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Un. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy! Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside! Take your time! <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar! Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill <laughs> out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that! They kill me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way, he's just too weird. He says we're all wild, so we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is gonna tell the neighbors everything and we're gonna have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. 
And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! All right, I'll help you. <laughs> yes! Way to go! Yeah! Yeah! Hey! Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick of the sewer dive. Is this the Joker? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him. Sam, yeah? Mind coming over here for a sec? Coming! I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha! A sin! Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah. Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I can go to the group right now! Oh no, my costume! We've got to stop him! The way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd he go? And we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. No! The day Wash is back. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah. boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Now 
more bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure that was a box full of kibble, and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. Ah. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't kibble. I didn't think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamstera stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Wow! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat! Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam! Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! Absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error, unknown Maybe species. it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Why not a unicorn? Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. 
I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second! Unknown species. <laughs> Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians! So, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name! The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex! You'll be famous throughout the world! Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius! Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. Sam's <laughs> been captured! The veterinarian is on his way to examine him! Ah, Sam's gonna be sent back to the forest? Not oh. if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? Cranky Genie, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! Purr! Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad! We did it! He stopped! Yes, 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 yes. It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not backwards! <laughs> Unknown animal no. sound. Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <sighs> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> no, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair test results! Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptili. Uh. Error, huh? error, error, error. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. Mm. 
my conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Dick. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up. It's the neighborhood swap arama Drop on by, shop and swap. Exchange and change. This swap arama shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Wash. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're going to tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Uh, huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. Whoa! They look like laser specks, like in the dog from outer space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specks in the royal chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken! If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go! I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Ah, uh, uh, uh. What have you got to give me in exchange? Oh, uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs. Roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Fooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Wanna bet? We can't just let it drop. We've got to find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Eugenie, uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Hmm. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? <sighs> I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? <laughs> me first! Shoot! There are no roast chickens in the yard! Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs. Now give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see Sam? Hmm. Yeah. Did I see what? Uh oh. A vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! Hmm. Anybody want some? So tell me, who is right? It was me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, no. It's a catastrophe! What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them please. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. 
Hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser-known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. Oh, no! I can't go back to the forest while I should do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> vet, come quick! look a bit pale, don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Do you realize, Honey Buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. yee <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specs. Why can't we keep them for us? But, Sam, those specs do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses! Sam, eat! I want my specs! <laughs> They're my specs! I saw them first! Huh? Mm. Ah! Wild animal! Run for cover! Supervillains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty buns I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild yeah. boar! <laughs> the youth of today, they have such wild imagination. Huh? Hmm. But, 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 why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie! Stop trying to show off! <laughs> wild animals, now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm. I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's gonna see us, Wash! He's gonna see us! Not if we're faster than he is! <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! Phew! It's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. Get out of the way! 
you're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little supervillains! I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Ow! But I've got him! Uh? No! Ready, Sam? Farewell, those chickens! Who turned out all the lights? Huh? Great trap, supervillains! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is faster than Su- That's enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume. Oh, no! I'm sorry, sweetie pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around... <laughs> well said, Sam. Mm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. A whole weekend alone! Awesome! <laughs> this is gonna be the longest weekend of the year. <laughs> yeah, we can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what an overpowering odor! Straight from the forest floor! <laughs> really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time, it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time, I found the instructions, so everything's gonna be hunky-dory. Yeah. It's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. What am I gonna do with this? Hmm, you could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. Sorry, I do a great puppy. And what's more, I've always dreamed of being a dog. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a 
a bird disguised as a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy a TV, TV marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of a small flying dog that has gone viral on social media recently? Is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, you're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? Oh. <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, sounds like it's coming from the garden. <laughs> it's Professor Jones. He's coming to get us. Quick, head for cover. <laughs> Owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good. I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. Huh? What do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back. We can't stay in the house. You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> when he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm. That flying dog will never escape my clutches. <laughs> Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting-edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Come back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! Rat 
Target hit. Analysis of the target. The flying dog is mine. Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl. Again. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We're the only ones who can save them now. <laughs> Yay! Susie. Target defined. House cat. A vulgar house cat. <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. <laughs> Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo. <laughs> A trap! <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> what are we gonna do to save Susie? And where's Sam disappeared to? <laughs> Died and gone to heaven. What? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot. What fantastic specimens! They must be mine. Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors. <coughs> It's me! Quick, we gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives! Phew! Huh? Susie! So, do you wanna stop being a rabbit, Eugenie? Oh, how does this thing open? How about this one? What on earth is going on? Oops! Okay, that's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew! Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> a fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Uh -huh. A flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! <laughs> How dare he call us mundane? Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Uh, uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove! I've always dreamed of being a bird! I can fly! I never thought you guys could sink quite so low. But, looks like I got it wrong again. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! Oh! The Living Stones! They probably brought back food! Mm -hmm. Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot you can't eat? They're pet 
toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look! <laughs> well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Ta-ha! There it is! Wash? <laughs> sure, it's you, Wash! <laughs> I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away! <laughs> you don't recognize me? It's Magnus! <gasps> hey, Magnus, of course! <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, hey, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry! Look, shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry! Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? Mm -hmm. uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The living stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy, everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We gotta help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Hilarious. Do it again. Meow, meow. Yay, my kibble. Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? Oh, it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? That's a uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! <laughs> Who's he? Your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. <laughs> hey, Wash, you there? Over here! Mm -hmm. I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? 
that's not fair! Magnus has already eaten my share! There's no way I'm sacrificing myself! Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about. Making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Yeah. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You she... couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> uh yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No? <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First, you have to ask the master. Oh, <laughs> this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. What? You gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's right, you mean cheat! cheat. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't washed! Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kind of need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> hey! Wash was right! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream. Shall we move things up a gear? Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. Wash? That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Washington, Good we know dog. and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. 